In this presentation, we will take a look at deductions from gross pay. When considering deductions from gross pay, we may first want to look at what is gross pay. Gross pay is going to be before we have the deductions. So gross pay is going to be what our payroll would be if we did not have deductions, including things like taxes. So we're getting from gross pay, in other words, to the end result, which would be the net pay. And deductions then are going to include things like mandatory deductions, which are federal and state income taxes, deductions by law, deductions we have to have. So remember that the uh, business is in essence required to make these types of deductions. It's important to note that the federal income taxes we're talking about here that are coming out of gross pay are the responsibility of the employee. In other words, they're the employee's taxes. Now that the employer is responsible and required to take them out by law, but they are these taxes related to the employee. And again, that concept's a little bit confusing because who's who has to pay the taxes? The employer is the one that's actually going to write the check. But the money theoretically is coming from the employee. It's coming out of their paycheck. So um, we're taking this money out of the employee paycheck by law because we're required to do so as the employer. And then we're paying it to uh, the state or the Fed, the government, on behalf of the employee. And then we have the Social Security and Medicare. Same type of idea here. These are both federal income or this is a federal income tax and federal income tax, Social Security and Medicare federal income tax. And we are once again taking that out. We're required to. It's not a payroll tax that uh, is necessarily in this context for the employer. It's being paid by the employee. Now, we'll talk more about uh, who pays which taxes. The Social Security and Medicare is going to have an employee component and an employer component. But when we look at our pay stub, when we look at what's been pulled out of our pay stub, that's, of course, what we theoretically paid. It came out of our taxes. And the reason I say theoretically is because we could debate in terms of, um, you know, what's the employer actually going to do? What happens to the market when we in, when we impose taxes? What happens to whatever the negotiation will be for pay um, in terms of the negotiation? So from an economic perspective, you can kind of have a question as to, you know, who's really paying the tax based on what happens in terms of markets. But what happens in terms of the actual paycheck calculation is that we have gross pay, this is going to be Social Security and Medicare that's being taken out of gross pay for our check. And then the business will have to pay their portion. Their portion of Social Security and Medicare is something that we don't see on the pay stub. It's not coming out of our check. That's an added piece that is actually payroll taxes to the employer. This piece, these things that are being deducted aren't really payroll taxes to the employer. They're just part of wages. They're part of what the employee has earned. And therefore, uh, the employer, all the employer is doing is just taking it out and paying some of our bills for us. Uh, and that's what's really happening here. The payroll taxes to the employer will be the employer portion of Social Security and Medicare and some other things like FUTA, uh, federal unemployment tax. So then we have the voluntary deductions when we get from gross pay and we're working our way down to net pay. And those are going to be things like retirement plans. Uh, and note that these are good, these are good things. These are voluntary deductions. So note they're similar because when we talk about federal income tax and Social Security, those are really the responsibility of the employee. Uh, theoretically, we have to pay them as you know good citizens. We're supposed to pay our taxes, and the um, and the, the we can think of the business as kind of doing us a favor by taking them out of our paycheck directly so that they make the payment for us. It makes our lives easier. But of course, these are mandated to do so. And the main reason they are mandated is because the IRS <laughs> trusts and has more leverage over a company to force them to, to comply than they do over individuals. So therefore, these are mandated. Now, voluntary is the same kind of idea. If we have a retirement plan, well, the, the company is providing that retirement plan in some way, and they're giving us the option to participate in it and the option then to take the money directly out of our paycheck and put it into the retirement plan. And that's typically a, a good thing. So that's going to be a good option. Same kind of concept, however, that we're still just taking money out that belongs to the employee and paying uh, it 
to some other area, in this case a retirement plan, for the employee's retirement. Uh, cafeteria plans, uh, usually some type of uh, insurance plans, are another type of benefit typically that can be offered. Huge benefits, and note that if you're working somewhere, uh, deductions that are mandatory don't tell you a whole lot about the culture of uh, the employer, but if they're giving the voluntary deductions, then those are things that do because those are going to be things that the company is deciding to provide as part of their benefit package. And um, so those are the things that are really dif differentiating one company from another company. So uh, other types of insurance voluntary uh, deductions could be included as well. So Section 125 plans. Section 125 being a section of the Internal Revenue Service Code, the IRS Code. And under the, the Section 125 plan, we typically have plans dealing with medical expenses. So they're typically going to be benefits related to medical expenses. So pre-tax deductions, health care uh, is typically what will be covered under the 125 plans. And of course, the goal here is going to be to incentivize and, and hopefully make um, the, the medical plans or healthcare more affordable for employees. Off the payroll.